Hello again, in the previous tutorial we've learned how to install Python, how to create our first uh, Python file, uh, as well as uh, how to execute the Python file. We did this by actually uh, selecting the Windows and the R key on the keyboard uh, to actually bring the command line. We created uh, a file called uh, your name followed by .py. We selected the, the path and once we execute this we could actually see the result. Let's open this file in uh, notepad so we can see the actual commands. So we said print hello Ioannis so in your case will be your name and then print and we did simple calculation. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a, a Python application by actually uh, using uh, the tkinter import, which basically will generate for us uh, a window. To do this, we need to create a new text file. Let's open this text file. I'm going to go to File. Before I continue, I'm going to go to File and Save As. I'm going to select all files and I'm going to actually save it as this name here, Ionis underscore window uh, dot py. I need to type from tk enter space import and then I'm going to import everything from this module. I'm going to press the enter key. I'm going to type window. So window is my variable. Let's go bring the TK. And I'm going to press enter and now I'm going to type window dot title. So the title of my window will be uh, welcome to Ionis system. Uh, oops, I forgot to put a speech mark. Uh, I'm going to press the enter key. Now I need to uh, add a, a label. So the message of my label will be label equals and I'm uh, creating a label. The label will be on my window. Uh, and it's the text. It's going to read uh, Welcome to my program. Uh, I'm just going to put here uh, a line space and I'm going to say uh, welcome to my program. I am now a Python. programmer. Now this command here backslash n it will leave us a line break. So now I'm going to press the enter key and I'm just going to type label. So I'm going to resize now my window the label pack. So the pad for the width. So this is the width. I'm going to set it up to 500. And the height, the y value, I'm going to set it to, uh, let's set it to 300. Let's close the bracket, and then we're going to say window dot main loop. Now, if we do not loop the window, the window will just show very quickly, and then it's going to close. So we want the window to be visible at all times until the user presses the exit button. So let's go to file and just click save because we did save it before as a py file. So we're just going to go to file and save. And now this is the path for this file. It's going to go to my command line uh, and control D to paste. Okay, didn't copy. 
so let's highlight this control c to copy click here control v to paste and enter and i've got my uh, first python application window i can uh, click and drag to resize them go back here uh, let's close this window and change that to so let's to 100 change that to 60 control s to save it or file save go back here paste the window opens now uh, and let's uh, i can maximize it i can downscale it i can minimize it i can bring it back up um, now if i did not put this uh, let's put a space between the backslash and then then a control s to save or file save so let's execute this again you can see here if you put a space between the backslash and then it will show this on one line uh, and if we just do that and add space and then put another uh, line uh, so control uh, s to save or file save let's go there and execute again so we have double line here space now in order for us to actually execute uh, this file automatically um, instead of actually uh, opening the command uh, line so basically we're still gonna have to open the command line but we can do this automatically uh, if we are using windows I'm just gonna copy this line the path I'm gonna right click create a new file text file I'm gonna double click to open it and then I'm gonna paste the actual path I'm gonna go to file and save as all files and I'm gonna save it as uh, my first Python window now you can put space if you wish it's up to you or you can use underscores uh, uh, I'm gonna select all files uh, and after the name I'm gonna say dot b a t so it's gonna be a batch file so click there to save it and here I have my actual first python batch file so let's close everything now let's start the other day and now if I double click here on my batch file I can actually see uh, my application running okay thank you for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial